Hi everyone. Last time we did some, uh, well, corrective surgery really to the head of this cow. And there are still some adjustments that need to be made before this particular animal is finished. But in today's video, I want to look at the head of this cow and just increase the detail a little bit more. So to begin with, I'm going to put down some ultramarine blue mixed with titanium white. just in a few areas to indicate where the, the hide of the animal has a sheen to it. And so it's, it's catching the light. And then because I'm using the interactive acrylic, I'm going to spray this area of the painting with water to just soften the boundary between the light blue here and the darker colour next to it. So I'm using a clean brush now. And I'm just dragging that through the wet paint very gently soften the edges of that region of light of lighter blue. Uh, and now we need to take a look at the uh, the face of the animal here and the main area which needs attention because I'm actually quite happy with this rather dark blue against the lighter blue even though it's not totally realistic I do like the effect but the main area which needs attention is the jaw of the animal in particular the nose and the the lower lip here. So let's begin by mixing up a purpley pink to paint the the, the snout, uh, if that's the right, I'm not sure if you can use that word for cows, but um, let's paint the nose of the animal in a rather more appropriate colour. So I've got a mix of ultramarine blue, cadmium red and titanium white on my brush. And we're going to use that to block in the cow's nose. And now using the same purple, but with rather less white in the mix, I'm going to go over that almost everywhere except for the regions where the light is catching. And then I'm going to use this same colour here to begin to depict the lower jaw. Now I've introduced uh, some of that purple to quite a bit of burnt umber and I'm going to use this darker colour to uh, indicate where the nostrils are. So now because the underlying paint was still wet that, that darker colour didn't take very well so what I'm going to do is just use some pure burnt umber. And when that mixes in with the wet paint, that will give me the colour that I actually wanted. And we will also include a line of shadow under the nose there. Now with a mix of ultramarine blue and titanium white. just indicating the line of the lower jaw. And improving the line 
of the upper jaw as well. Now the line that I just put in, it came in a little bit too low, so I'm going to just uh, trim that back with some ultramarine blue. The next thing I need to do with this particular animal is I need to improve the cast shadow that it's making on the ground here. So I've added my ultramarine blue to the orangey brown I used a couple of uh, episodes ago to give me this uh, rather earthy brown. And we're just going to use that to bring a little bit of colour into the cast shadow underneath the animal. And now using a more conventional dark green created with a mix of ultramarine blue and cadmium yellow. I'm going to add an, yet another colour to some of the grass. And I'm also going to continue that over here and start to cover up the knee of this cow. Because as this animal has knelt in the grass, The different blades of grass are reaching up uh, above the line that it makes with the ground. So much of this foreleg is, is actually obscured. And we'll continue that rather randomly. Oh, I do apologise. I've just realised that you can't see what I'm doing there. Let me just zoom out a little bit. There we go. So what I was just talking about, I'm sorry it was off camera. I've just covered up this knee here partially uh, using the same green colour that I used over here on the cast shadow. Now I've added a lot more yellow and uh, white to the mix. So we'll put some lighter colours in. And some pure yellow. Let's put a little bit of that pure yellow down here and mix that in with the green. And I quite like that pure yellow, so you'll see I've just adjusted the, the camera angle again. So let's, uh, let's introduce even more. And we can use that, now that it's running out on the brush, we can use that to just soften the, or the dark area here. And we'll also scumble that 
into the hedge at the back of the field. Now I've got a mix of Silurian blue, a little bit of the yellow and some white. And I want to just uh, lighten this dark area, which was rather conspicuous next to the head of this cow. Now I've added a healthy dose of titanium white to that same mix and I'm just going to use that to put in some little highlights along the top of this hedge which is at the boundary of the field. And the idea here is that you notice for the very distant tree lines and things there, there's very little detail. So by putting just a, a little bit of detail into this hedge it will help place it nearer us than the other the other tree lines. Now we don't want to do too much of this, but just enough to distinguish between the different distances. And I've now added some cadmium red to the mix. So we'll just pick out some little pink highlights. Again, not too many, but we will use some of those down here. To help define where the hedge meets the, the field. So let's go back to looking at the painting as a whole. And I think things are starting to come together now. I've decided for sure that I'm going to leave this cow untouched. Um, I really like the fact that it's a very simple treatment of the animal. And because this animal is off to the edge of the page and in shadow, I like the fact that, you know, maybe the first time a person looks at the painting, they might not even notice there's a third animal there. This cow I'm pretty much happy with. I might add the odd defining line or two on the mouth in the next video. But I do need to finish the treatment of the head here. In particular, uh, I need to, I placed this eye in the wrong place last time, so I need to correct that. And also the general treatment of the head needs some improvement. So I hope to see you next time um, when I hope to bring this painting to completion, but we'll see how it goes. Always a little bit of a gamble to say something like that in advance, but that's my hope. I hope to see you next time and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching.